Greg Stamp with Stamp Seeds. I'm in a field where we've got demo plots of winter wheat, fall rise, spring crops, and some replant and regrowth as well from some forage trials. So here in this little spot here, we've actually got a winter barley right here. It didn't survive the winter really well, kind of short. So uh, we did do a bit of a, we didn't even do a forage test because there wasn't much here. Uh, and then we've got this sorghum, uh, a grazing sorghum planted uh, fairly early on, like in early to mid-June, and it's it's coming along pretty good. Um, some shading impact from middle of the plot, but uh, on the sides it looks better. Up here we've got regrowth from our boot stage in the hybrid fall rye. So at that boot stage we did some trials for yield and quality, and then further up here we also went, uh, this is Blair Bay Log, our seed sales lead, um, this was from the milk stage and we're getting regrowth from the milk stage. I think that's because we got a lot of rain in the, around the, that timing. So I think that's why we got so much regrowth in the milk stage silage trial. So we're going to take these grain trials that are on the other side to harvest and we're getting some uh, silage timings from barley, soft wheats, rye, winter wheat and triticale. So we're going to have yield data and quality data to help you make a decision on what the best timing and crop type and variety that you could be growing or double cropping on your forage field.